Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Asher Vineyard Daily Check-In. My name is Chris Kimmons, and it is Wednesday, the 27th of May. It's not supposed to be me this morning. It's actually supposed to be Nick, but bless her, she's been under the weather for a few days, but seems to be rallying this morning, so that's all good. So part two of David, that's David and Goliath, David. If you remember, he was very successful. King Saul didn't like him. David had to run away for his own life. King Saul came after him. David had two chances to kill him. Chose not to on both occasions, saying, no, I will not touch the one that God has chosen. And to cut a long story short, David goes off on a raiding party. And when he comes back, all his possessions and his children and his wife and all the little gangs, wives, children, belongings have all gone. The rest of David's gang were honestly about ready to kill him. They, it says they wanted to stone him and David comforted himself in God. Now the amazing thing is the part two, that after David says, why are you downcast, O my soul? I will yet praise him like hiking himself up by the ear. You listen here. God says, go and get your stuff. I'll tell you where to go and go and get your stuff. And that's exactly what happens. And they go and not a single person is missing, not a single item is missing. In fact, they come back with more. So in the Bible, it says that God will restore the years the locusts have eaten. And I've been praying for people that as we come out of this time, that we will actually be richer people, fuller, healthier, more whole, that actually, as you lean into God and speak to him about it, he can restore the years that the locusts have eaten. He can restore the time that COVID has snatched away and some of the things that have been taken. And we can come back stronger and healthier. Anyway, lots of love. Have a good day.